All right, these videos are going to do the 3.5 through 3.7 review. And we're just going to dive right in. Problems 1 and 2, sketch the graph of the line. Notice this is in the form y equals mx plus b. So our y-intercept is 4. And our slope, negative 4 fifths. That's the m. Slope, negative 4 over positive 5. So I can either go down 4. right 5, or I can go up 4 if I go left 5. All right, I'm going to put my y-intercept on the graph. It's right here at 4. We're going to count down 4 units, 1, 2, 3, 4 units, and then 5 to the right. And we're going to draw that line, and we're going to be finished with our graph. Okay, there's our line. Notice the negative slope, the line is going down from left to right, it's going down. Negative slope will always go down. Positive slope will go up from left to right. Okay, problem number two. Y equals negative three. Remember that's a horizontal line. Here's the Y axis. We go down to Y equals negative three and we stay there. We're looking for all points whose Y coordinates are negative three. That is a horizontal line. And we are finished with the first two problems. Okay, moving on. Write the equation in slope-intercept form. Sketch the graph of each line. Okay, so notice this is standard form. 8x minus y equals 5. That's what we call the standard form equation of a line. We're supposed to switch it over to slope-intercept. Remember, slope-intercept is y equals mx plus b. So we're going to solve this equation for y. So I'm going to move it down here. 8x minus y equals 5. To solve that for y, we're going to subtract an 8x. The negative is still there in front of the y. I'm going to keep the order so that the x is in the front. And I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1 or multiply by negative 1. It will do the same thing. So you want to multiply by negative 1? You can do that. You want to divide by negative 1? You can do that. Either way, it will come out to y equals positive 8x, negative divided by negative turns into a positive, and negative 5 because positive divided by negative is a negative. Okay, now we're going to graph it just like we did number 1, basically. We're going to look at the y-intercept. y-intercept is negative 5. So we're going to put that on the graph. Negative 5 is our y-intercept. Our slope is 8, which is 8 over 1. We don't have room to go down and to the left, so we'll go up and to the right. So we'll go up 8 and right 1. This is going to be a very steep line. So we'll go up 8. So from negative 5 to 0 is 5 units, and then we go 3 more. So from negative 5 to 3 is 8 units. So 8 units up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Just count them out. And then we're going to draw the line through those two points. It's a very steep line. Slope of 8 is very steep. And we're done. Okay, next one. x plus 2y equals negative 6. Again, I'm going to write the equation down here. To put it in slope-intercept form, I need to solve for y. So we're going to solve it for y. We're going to subtract an x from both sides. We have 2y equals negative x minus 6. And then we're going to divide both sides by 2. So divide by 2. And on the right, we can divide each individual term by 2. So we get y equals negative 1 half x minus 3. Okay? Minus 3. And we will put the y-intercept on the graph. At negative 3, a slope of negative 1 half means I can go down 1, right 2, or I can go up 1, left 2. Either way, we will draw our line through all of those points, and we're done with problem number 4. Okay, moving on to the next 
problems. Oops, I went the wrong way. Moving on to problem number five. Find the slope and the y-intercept. Write the equation in slope-intercept form. So what you're going to have to do is find the slope and the y-intercept from the graph. Okay, so for problem number five, the y-intercept is right here at 3. So the b value is 3. For our slope, remember slope is rise over run. So I'm going to find two points on the graph that are easy to read. There's one right there. And my y-intercept is easy to read. And I'm going to do a little counting. If I go up 1, right 2, this line will have a slope of one half. So my slope is my m, and it's one half. We've got the slope and I've got the y-intercept. Remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. I can literally write down the equation, y equals mx plus b, and we are finished. We only need the slope-intercept form. I'm going to do the same kind of thing on problem number six. We're going to identify the y-intercept. It is a 2. This slope is going to be negative. You notice the last one was positive. The line was going up from left to right. This one's going down from left to right. So we're going to have, we're going to have a negative slope. Remember, rise over run. We'll find two nice points. My y-intercept is a nice point. Oh, there's only one more that I can find. And then you're going to do some counting. There's one, two, three, four, five, six units down. So my rise is negative six. We went down six and we went to the right by one. So our slope is negative six. Plug the numbers m and b into our equation y equals mx plus b. y equals mx, m is negative six, plus b is two. And we are done. There's problem number six. This is the end of the first video. The next video will show you the next few problems.